competition. She's gonna close it out strong. Please make some noise for Simone. Give it up for her, give it up. They say your eyes are a window into your soul. Well, I don't shut my eyes when I look at you, so why can't you see? That I'm not your stereotypical black woman and I can't be what you want me to be. You see, they teach you how to generalize and idealize through someone else's eyes until you can't realize the reality of your own situation. We blame them, whitey, for oppression. Maybe we have an obsession with our own sudden progression. Maybe, just maybe, it's our idiomatic expressions captured by the rap succession while school's in session, but damn, I'm digressing. See, although my skin has bearing to my kin, it doesn't begin to compare with what I hold within. I can't treat with my epidermis like a thermos with a lid and just hold it in. See, black women are similar but never the same. We change at close range, supply and demand like the New York Stock Exchange. But we fail to see what we have in common. We only see differences, which become hindrances, not allowing us to gain, so we become lifeless. So I might just put it on you one time and let you know what's on my mind, but this is more than a punchline. So maybe I should rewind. Back to the times of Bacon's Rebellion. See, both whites and blacks were limited in this hell when they decided to rebel against the rich. The rich got pissed and said, we can't have this shit. So they divided the poor, gave the whites a little bit more, and there'd be another 300 years before we black settled the score. We stick to this word revolution as if it's the final solution to our problems instead of trying to solve them. Gil Scott Heron said that the revolution will not be televised. Well, maybe the real revolution will never materialize unless we as people decide we need you and I T Y. See, I gotta let you know. We're not gonna be granted immunity in this European economic community. However, we need to take advantage of every opportunity we have. And no, this is not me begging the white man. It needs denying some of those things that gleam. Waking up from that dream of being on the NBA team or singing with the Supremes. Now, I don't mean to be extreme, but I'm coming out of my seams. I pretend not to hear the screams of my dying culture picked off by vultures. But what if we're the biggest ones that hurt us? See, I try to be the black and nothing but the black. So help me be black. I'll walk black. I'll even talk black. I'll even roll with a pack, pack, black pack of peoples. But I'm still alone, despite this black pack. And I don't have to figure this out on my own because my own people tell me through their acts they attack because I'm not black enough. Well, tough. I can't linger on the small stuff. Because if I did, I'd be a spineless squid operating only using my id. And every time I slid, my own people would try to get rid of me. And I would never get my bachelor's degree. I can still try to hear the ABCs. It's not easy as one, two, three to disagree with what your community believes especially if they happen to be the bourgeoisie. It gets worse and I swear it's a curse. Not only am I from NYC and Cali, but I have some white in me. And my own people will reject me if I was an Africanized honeybee. I say yo when I flow, but even worse, I play water polo. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. So is the phrase toe up from the flow up or is it tore up from the floor up? See, I just can't get enough of these words that blur on my page every time a tear fades. I'm trying to evade my untrue friends. I have to give what they said time to settle in. And then I need time to mend. Send a verbal trend how we condescend towards each other because we don't fit in. But damn it, that's it. I can't take this shit, so I'm just gonna tell you. With your eyes open or closed, you see. Maybe I'm not black enough, but being black is not just enough for me. <laughs>